What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome on back to episode 41. And it's time to knock out the Lich Dragon Fortisax, as well as finish Fia's quest line. Uh, now, the Lich Dragon does use death in some of his moves. Unfortunately, we can't craft the anti-death bolus, so you might have a couple. Uh, as you can see, I have two. That's probably going to be fine. I mean, and you gotta like, you know, you've already seen these clouds. You gotta stand in them, but slap those on anyway, just for good measure. Uh, but otherwise, head on in, and the first thing we gotta do is do a couple bosses for Fia. This is gonna be pretty easy. You can hold off on using your flask and put on a weapon buff if you want. Uh, by the way, that's Godric, the demigod who got murdered at the start of the game. And on the night of the Black Knives and all that stuff, yeah. Pretty nasty looking, right? Anyway, let's keep on heading this way and... You should obliterate this thing. Okay, is it my, can, is it my turn? Can I attack? Oh no, oh, whoa, I parried that? I didn't even know you could parry that. Hang on. I really wanna parry this guy. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's juicy. So go ahead and summon up your mimic at this point. The next one is Rogier. He shouldn't be a problem either. Rogier, come on, buddy, stop. 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 And now we have three separate champions that will show up. So it seems to be random. Um, if you see a mage, kill the mage first. This one's a mage. Alright, dude actually kind of hurts with that, uh, those pokes. Stop it. Lionel's the only one that's like actually like a boss. The rest of them are, as you saw, pretty easy. So now we have Fia's Mist. That is a death mist that we can cast on out. Um, with them dead, Fia's hanging out here. Go ahead and talk to her. What is it to deny us like the dogmat? You want to say, no, I want to be held. You are and I am the god they call me, yet you still... Get yourself a hug. In secret. When the first God wins out, there is and I'm before the time. When God wins another and I must before the time, I am. Will you still? This and then we can give her the hollow brand. Now this is the thing we got at the top of the tower after we completed the first half of Ronnie's quest. Um, this is the item that completes her quest. So she gives you the radiant blessing. Of course, as always, we have the debuff. All right, once we get that, like, brandish, that's the last piece of dialogue that we wanted. Um, now, real fast, you can grab this. This right here is going to teleport you into the capital. Um, you know, if you want to use it, you can. It'll just to, just to show it real fast. Um, let me grab this grace first. Did I actually touch this grace? I did not. Okay, hang on. Grab this. And we'll grab the capital grace. From the testing I've done, it doesn't seem like this affects anything. You're able to just use this to get in there early. Um, we're not going to be doing the capital for a good bit, but this will, you know, just adds an, an extra grace. So if you get stuck on Draconic Tree Sentinel later, you can just ignore him and skip on past. There we are, the royal capital. So, go on up, grab that. And then we're just going to proceed a little bit until we actually get a grace here. This area is, um, no, this is the start of the capital. This is... I guess you could think of this as like the third legacy dungeon. You know, Stormvale Castle is our first. Uh, and then after that, we have the Royal Academy. Well, actually, I don't know. I wonder if, if people consider Volcano Manor to be a legacy dungeon. Probably not. It's not that big. This place is definitely a legacy dungeon, though. 
If we count Volcano Man, this would be the fourth. Uh, so you can see we are now in the capital. But go ahead and warp on back to, there we go, Prince of Death's Throne. Okay, so she's still alive. We want to go ahead and get rid of our, our stuff real fast. I do not like my health debuff. There we go. Uh, warping should have triggered it. Let's talk to her again, see if her dialogue's changed. She's going to give me another Baldockian blessing. I might just need to rest at the grace a few times. This is Kadai. I choose and I will bear who will inherit what greater. This is Kadai. I okay. choose. Okay. So that this is goodbye. That's the last thing we needed from her. Uh, we're going to pop that thing again. Let's wait until I stand up. What is happening with my poise? Oh, it's because of the buff. Look at it. It's going crazy. How are we looking on runes? I might be able to get a level. Uh, oh, yeah. That's so close. I like it. Let's see up to seven. Damn. See, now I'll probably get more deck scaling all the way up to like 55. Um, and there we go. Now Fia is down. So go ahead and touch her. This will enter the deathbed dream. And this is where you fight the Lich Dragon of Fortisax. So definitely one of the coolest dragons in the game. Uh, follows the same rules as the other dragon. It has a lightning glaive thing you gotta look out for. But that's about it. Um, this guy might be a challenge at this point. I think y'all can take him. And if not, you can come back and fight him later. You know, it's, it's a dragon. So his lightning causes death. That's the that's what you gotta look out for. But besides that, I mean he's still just a dragon. You know, keep your shield on your back, that'll increase your death resistance. There's the lightning glaive. Hey, can I can you bring your head here please? You're not gonna if you're not gonna behave, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do some cheeky shit to kill you instead. So yeah, I'm gonna just go for his legs. It's because I have the mimic that's like running distractions right now, so it's hard for me to You can see, like, I mean, for for all the showy bullshit this guy's done, has he, like, I think he's like, hit me three times or something. Yeah. I mean, he's a really cool dragon visually, don't get me wrong. Corrupted dragon that's now death and whatnot. But yeah, you'll get him. That gets you a, uh, another Legend Feld. And a buttload of runes, as you can see there. We're also going to go ahead and well, get warped out, I guess, first. So after doing that, Fia has gestated the rune, and now we have the mending rune, which can be used to obtain one of the non-trophy secret endings. So I think this is... So yeah, at this point we have what we need for Ronnie's ending, and now with that, we can get a secret hidden ending. Anyway, pick up Fia's gear. This is Dee's brother. All right, once he starts talking about honeyed rays, you're all good there. Just rest again. What I think is funny is she, like, literally died gestating the rending rune, and he shows up, and he just basically kills a corpse, and he's like, I did it! I'm the best! Like, she was already dead, bro. Uh, but anyway, that will get you the armor back that we gave him, as well as the inseparable sword. Uh, I haven't personally worked with this sword before, because I didn't complete his quest line, so I can't really speak to it that well. Uh, but, you know, Sacred Blade's not bad, so if you're looking for a holy weapon, probably pretty cool. Looks cool, at least, but... Anyway, um, with Fia down and the dragon down, you have now completely wrapped up Fia, Rogier, and Dee's quest line. Congratulations. Uh, so from here, let's head to the round table and take a look at this remembrance. I think there's a couple remembrances we haven't looked at in a while, so it'll be good to pay a visit. 
can also check for any other boss. Nope, no other boss stuff. Okay, uh, so Natural Born, let's talk about it. Bastard Stars, to be honest, I don't think it's good. Even for end builds, I think the Estelle Wing is a far superior weapon. Uh, Waves of Darkness, this thing is badass. Now, the follow-up strike, a lot of people are saying it's bugged. Um, it's hard to tell because there's three separate waves that go out. And in my testing, I couldn't really tell if my wave was hitting somebody or if my sword was hitting somebody because they kind of line up. Uh, but even if that strong attack doesn't follow up, it's still a really solid weapon art on its own. Both this and Golden Land are very good AoE options to use on Great Axes, Great Hammers, Spears, Colossal Weapons. So I would suggest that. Um, just this kind of build, it's good to have. Now over here, honestly, this is a really cool spell. It deals a ton of damage. It takes a long ass time to get off and you're probably going to get interrupted. Uh, with that in mind, I mean, if you're a faith build, what's cooler than two giant forked red bolts of lightning? Death lightning, on the other hand, this is super disappointing. Uh, you got to keep in mind that death is only going to be effective against players, so this isn't going to really do anything in PvE. The lightning storm does hit pretty hard, uh, but there's way better lightning spells in the game, so I wouldn't recommend death lightning personally. Even for PvP, I just don't think it's very good, whereas the lightning spear I do think is a very solid skill. Uh, since, of course, I am not playing as a faith build whatsoever. Gobble, 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 gobble. And then while we're here, I'm just going to pop these guys. Oh, no, I selected one. I wanted all three. We're going to use everything that's uh, above a five just to, just to get it out of the way, you know. Boost my souls up a bit. Runes, excuse me. I'm going to be doing that forever. All right. Do, 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 do. Boo, do, boo, 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 do. Up to 32, 36. It's starting to slow down a little bit. Still looking pretty good. And this is exactly why I say you don't need to farm. Like, we have, have touched the northern regions for the briefest of seconds to go into Seathwater Cave, and we are already level 100. And I think we farmed a total of, like, 10,000 runes at the start just to be able to, like, upgrade, like, buy mats to upgrade my weapon. Like, if you're just playing through this game, you, you just don't, you don't need to farm. You're going to get plenty of runes. Uh, but anyway, from here, it is finally time for us to make our way up north. So... We want to go to the Magma Worm Grace that we got a long time ago, and we are finally going to push forward into the Altus Plateau. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Of course, you can use the lift if you want. Uh, I think this way's faster, and this way also gives us... Uh, we, we meet a dragon, so I like going this way. But if you want to use the lift, feel free to use the lift. I mean, you got both parts of the lift. You can certainly do it if you want the lift animation. What can I say? I'm a big fan of the back door. Can't wait to see how many people timestamp that remark. All right. Welcome to Altus Plateau, the fall biome. Lots of fall colors. Uh, so we're going to grab this. And actually, I think what we're going to do this episode... So there's some stuff that we can fight here. We'll we'll come back and we'll knock it out later. I'd rather I'm gonna go get y'all something that you're really gonna like. Uh, so just ride past all this crap for now. We'll we'll come back and we'll do we'll do this all later. Oh, but we can grab this. It's just a, a cheap outfit. Dun 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 dun. You want some? I just beat your friend's ass. So you don't actually need to kill this thing. Just just whack it a couple times. And it's going to be like, screw this guy. It's going to leave. And we're just getting rid of that now. I mean, like you saw, it didn't even really attack us. It does its one, one lightning glaive, and that's about it. We're just getting that out of the way. So when I come back here later and we're actually like exploring and doing stuff, I don't have a dragon swooping in and throwing red lightning at me. I'll go over here first, talk to Millicent. Oh, Just burn through her dialogue. 
other that I realized I could have aided. She wants a sword arm. We're gonna get her sword arm in a couple of episodes. I think that's the last one. Yeah, the lands that are north of the Erd Tree. That's the dialogue we wanted from her. Uh, right here, we'll grab this seed. We're actually grabbing a bunch of seeds this episode. Y'all are gonna be getting some more flasks. We'll grab this grace. Alright, and let's see if she is here. Yes, she is. So, this lady is going to take us straight to the Volcano Manor, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to be doing that in a little bit, though. Well, I guess we could do it now, just to get the Volcano Manor map. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do her now. Take her hand. Um, if she is not here, if you already ventured into Altus Plateau yourself, and you did follow her quest line, basically she is waiting for you depending on how you got into Altus. So if you come up the back route, she should be right there. If you decided to come up the lift, she should be right by the lift. So that's all gonna come down to the route that you took. Um, but if you can't find her for some whatever reason, we're also gonna cover how to get over to this place the long way. Uh, but this is kind of the, the starting point for the the actual, like, the meat and potatoes of Mount Gelmir. But the real reason we wanted to warp over here is we are gonna go grab a map fragment, so. You can see it right there. You can already kind of see the path of the, the road. We're not worried about fighting this stuff, just run for now. We're just gonna be, uh, the rest of this episode, we're actually just gonna be grabbing the map fragments to unveil this area and the northern region, and then kind of explaining where we're going from here. Uh, you know, basically set y'all up to explore on your own. Obviously there's one of these things here. I'm not worried about that right now. We're gonna come back. I guess we can, well, why not? Seeds are good. We'll grab the seed, grab the seed. And the seed. I'll get Mr. Shiny Shiny Shoes a little bit later. Lots of handsies around here, so just be ready. I know how much you all love handsies. I think there's another handsie guarding that, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Alright. We're just gonna grab that fragment. And then we're gonna haul ass real fast. And right over here is a grace. Um mm, do I wanna get it right now for mages while we're here? Oh, it'll be a while before we get to it. Uh folks who are playing that are mages, if you just go in this direction, we're gonna get to it a good bit later. Uh, but right there, just follow this along to the dead Erd tree. There's gonna be a crazy serpent thing. If you kill it, you get a thing you can put in your flax that gives you infinite FP for about 10 seconds and lets you just spam meteors or comet or whatever else you want to spam. So it might be worth doing right now. Um, oh, also for melee classes, while you pop it, you can summon any Ashen Spirit. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. So it's a cool thing to get. Uh, but, you know, we're not particularly concerned with that right now. I want to focus on getting all the maps. So back to the Erd tree grazing hill. And next, our stop is right here. And what we're trying to get for all of y'all is something called the Twiggy Cracked Tier, or, or Cracked Twiggy Tier. Anyway, it's something that you can put in your flask, and as long as you die while that flask effect is active, you will not lose any runes. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought, you know, regardless of what everyone else says about I think summons are easy mode, or I think magic is easy mode. No. The true easy mode is the ability to never lose your resources in a Souls game. It's like the talismans we put on, except it's just reusable. So, absolutely phenomenal item, and we're gonna go pick that up for you right now. Let me see, we'll grab this along the way. Um, oh, you know what? I don't know if I talked to him at the round table. We'll see. We'll find out. Depends if he's at the map marker or not. And he is not here, so we'll we'll talk to him later. Um, if you talk to the prophet, the prophet dude at the round table will be like, "I'm going on a journey," and when he leaves, you'll meet him right here for the second time. We'll just talk to him the next time we go by the round table. Now we're gonna go up uh, this one. I'm just gonna kind of go straight at it. Uh, there is a fight here with. 
double tree sentinels. We might kill them real fast. They're not exactly hard, to be honest. Like, I know you're probably like, hold on, double tree sentinels? Like, yeah, double tree sentinels, but it's not, it's not as bad as it sounds, to be honest. Like, at this point in the game, we are a force of nature. I mean, we have a plus 10 weapon. We're level 100, you know. You are, like, the villain at this point. Nothing in this game is going to stop you. I mean, maybe, well, I'll take that back. Maybe Millennia of the Rot will stop you. But she's a long way away. By the time we get to her, I mean, God, we could be 200, 300. Oh, that shiny you're hearing, that's Golden Parry. It's a really useful skill. It allows you to parry from a longer range, so you can use it to, you know, parry those Crucible Knights. Please! Oh, my God, Mr. Bear, no. I thought I was going to be fast enough. But you can't fit through here, can you, you fatty? There's ballistas and stuff up top, so I wanted to run this way to avoid all of them. We're going to be coming back and going through, like, all these areas more properly a little bit later, but... Oh, God, no, I'm stuck. Oh, how did he miss? I guess the game took pity on me because I was stuck. They might follow you. Um, obviously, just hit the grace. After I hit the grace, I'm going to kill him right now just because... They're tree sentinels. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Do I have iframes? Yes, I do. Oh, you little bitch. All right. Now oh, we got enough time. 21 minutes? Oh, yeah. We got plenty of time to knock this out. Let's go murder some tree sentinels. Sup, buddy? Hey, you ugly. Hey, I'm talking to you, man. Are you ignoring me? You think you can ignore me? Satisfying, huh? Number two! And for killing them, we net a nice chunk of runes, but more importantly, the Erd Tree Great Shield, which is one of my favorite shields in this game. So obviously this is going to be a strength-centric thing. 30 strength and a 13.5 weight that's not cheap. Uh, but that special Golden Retaliation, it's the thing their shield uses to shoot shit back at you when you hit them with, with magic. Uh, super, super good. Super, super good. Great in PvP, great in PvE. Because you level up the shield and the spell damage is going to go up with it. So basically, like, it doesn't matter what spell you block. You block a spell and you're firing back, like, a thousand damage holy laser at something's face. Which is obviously really useful. And with that, we now have a map of all of the stuff we're going to be doing for a while. Now, I know a lot of people are like, what's next? What's next? I want to go ahead. Well, here is what's next. You see this area right here? This, this, all this? This is the royal capital. Ignore that, okay? Besides that... If you want to explore all of this other stuff, go for it. The only thing I would recommend is don't go into the Royal Capital just yet. I'd suggest saving that. And then here at the Volcano Manor, do not kill the final boss here, Rikard. Because there are a bunch of quests in the Volcano Manor. And if we kill Rikard, we're not going to be able to finish those quests. And we're going to miss out on armor and weapons and all sorts of shit. So don't kill Rikard and don't go into the capital just yet. Anywhere else in Altus or over here, feel free to explore. Um, I mean, hey, I'm not your supervisor. Go do whatever you want, but th that, that's what I would recommend. So anyway, we are going to head on over here. So we're going to put one marker here. And then one marker here. We're going to get that twiggy cracked here real fast. Oh, now there is a gargoyle that's going to swoop down right here. You can, you know, you can fight it. You can ignore it. It's up to y'all. What kind of damage we're doing to you? Oh yeah, we'll just kill this thing real fast. 
Okay, listen, guy. You know, I was gonna let you live, but then you had to go all spin to win on me. I think his AI just bugged out. Did your AI just bug out? Oh, no, never mind. You're still awake. Okay. That was the wrong play. That was the wrong thing. You shouldn't have done that. does hurt. I'll give you that. That gets you the Gargoyle's Great Axe. I have no intention of using it, but... Free weapon, right? Might as well. And as you can see, more golden seeds. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, we're good. Let's keep riding. Which one are we hitting up first? We're hitting two and three. I'm going to get rid of it. There's a one somewhere. Uh, you'll hear Morgoth's voice at a point here. It should be any second now. He'll pop up and be like... Yeah, and when he pops up, this happens. You can, I guess, you know, why not? Let's just beat his ass. Ow. It doesn't matter what you do here. You can... You know, if he whooped you at the beginning, get a little bit of, uh, revenge here. Ow. Why do you do that? And you can run right past it. This isn't, like, a required boss fight or anything. You just... Showing him who's the boss. Um, it'll increase your stamina. I've never used it. It's not. It's not really needed, to be honest. I mean, honestly, if you really wanted to, you could technically just push all the way through. Um, the next. Is it? Uh, the next big trigger is like after the capital going up north into the giant region. Um, but that's still a while away. So, you know, you'd have to go all the way through the capital. You'd have to beat the boss there, get up to the fire giant. Basically, the next, the only like other thing, well, the only thing in this game that can actually like really trigger you to miss shit is there's a point in the game where we're going to light that big tree on fire because it has thorns and we need to get in and the tree won't let us in. So we burn down the tree. Uh, the problem, though, is that when we go to burn down the tree, the capital city gets covered in ash. And at that point, anything that you did not get in the capital, it is gone. And that includes spells, armor sets, a uh, legendary weapon that you need for your platinum trophy, all sorts of stuff. So if you want to kill these guys, go for it. It doesn't matter. They're, they're you know, they're scrubs. This is what we came here for, though. Twiggy crack tear. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. With all of that done, we will warp on back over here to the Urtree Gazing Hill. So, quick little run, unveiled the map. Um, oh, Raya, 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 Raya. So if Raya isn't here and she's not here, instead to get to Volcano Manor, you're gonna have to take the long route. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So what you would do is follow this road along. Right over here is gonna be a bridge. Go across the crumbly bridge. Go up this way. You're gonna be able to get up and then you're gonna follow this along. Then you're gonna cross this. You're gonna have to go this way. You're going to have to cross over. There's going to be like some ladders and shit you start climbing. Uh, and then eventually you'll make your way all the way up to here where there's going to be an Erd Beast. Or not an Erd Beast, a uh, Falling Star Beast. You can run right past him. Go over this. You hop over the rock. You go on down. And then you can enter the Volcano Manor. 
Um, now, we're going to be doing the Volcano Manor in a little bit, so if you followed Raya's quest line, you can talk to her. Otherwise, you'll have to take the long route to get there. Uh, the other potential, of course, is you could go from Seathwater Cave, and you could run all the way around this bullshit, and then use this to hop over to here, to then use that to hop over to there, and then follow the paths that take you on up top to get to that thing. Uh, either way, you're going to want to reach Volcano Manor. Hopefully, you have followed the guide. Hopefully, you have Raya, and she's just going to take you there. If not, it's a long-ass horse ride. At some point, we're obviously going to go, and we are going to actually do all that stuff and cover all that. Uh, but I wanted to go to the Volcano Manor and get that quest line started first, just because a couple of the things there are, are pretty early. Um, so, anyway. We've covered a lot this episode. Let's go to our flasks and add some charges. Oh. Not enough golden seeds. Do I have any, any tears? No tears. What are we looking at? Look at that. Look at all those juicy flasks you have now. 11 healing flasks and 2 FP. That's a, that's a lot of flasks. Uh, I, if I remember, I think 14 is actually the max. So we're one away from having max flasks at this point, which is fantastic. We've obviously killed a bunch of stuff. We're going to level up. How are we looking? Two points. Oh, getting way more out of the decks. Just going to keep on leveling it. Uh, and real fast, I guess I, we could do Lux Ruins real fast. This place is there's like nothing to it. Where is it at? There it is. Is that it? No, you can actually Skyrim up this with a little bit of luck. I'm honestly not even sure how to get up there normally. I've always... Oh, never mind. That's right. You just go around. I, every time I've come here, I've like Skyrim my way up. Where was that glitch I jumped on? Uh, oh, come on. Come on, Skyrim horse. Ah, it's taking too long. We'll just go the proper way. Boring. I don't want to go around. And you're just supposed to, like, run down and then up, and it's just that. I like to just hop in, because there's not much here. It's just a couple of demi-humans that, you know, you can murder. I don't even remember if there's any loots here that are worthwhile. Let me see what I wrote down. I wrote shitty demi humans disappearing ball and down below for the queen demi human and a crap talisman. Sounds like a real winner of an area. Ah, yes, string. And a golden room three. What fortuitous luck. So, you can see we have one of those annoying ass ball things. This, these are the kind that like to run away on you. Stop this. If you interrupt me while I'm trying to shoot this ball. Listen, I am working right now, and y'all are being very inconsiderate with your monkey yells. play the runaway game. I play the quit and reload game. Need to level up my crossbow. That was really weak. Probably could have just thrown a cookery and killed it. That's what we're going to do. Ah, uh, there you are. ANS scaling. That's more like it. And we do want that one, because Shield Crash is fantastic. If you have been watching any of the build videos I've done, you would know that Shield Crash can do some funny shit. If you have a shield that has, like, bleed on it, or frenzy on it, or anything else, Shield Crash will decimate lives. Yes, I know, you're so frightening. Oh no, she's dead. I accidentally killed her. 
And to be honest, it's it's gonna be this way for a lot, y'all. Like I said, we're the, <laughs> we went through all the underground areas. Um, I felt I feel like we had a pretty steady progression going through that. Uh, but with those out of the way, and now we're just now going up north, and we have a plus ten weapon, and we're already level we're level one hundred. Yeah, we're gonna absolutely decimate content moving forward. So I hope you're in the mood for a power fantasy, because that's kind of where things are gonna be for a while. Uh, anyway, with that, we are going to wrap things up though. From the next episode, we're going to get started on the Volcano Manor quest line. And then there's a couple goodies in this area over here that we're going to hit as well if we have time. So, for now, I will leave you in Volcano Manor. If you want to go exploring the nearby area, that is up to you. But otherwise, I'll catch you in a bit with more.